I'd like to talk to you about an electrolytic cell, which is the process where a non-spontaneous chemical reaction is actually made spontaneous using electrochemical energy. And I'm going to do this using an experiment you've seen and actually done before. I'm going to try to generate uh, some copper two ions on the surface of this copper penny. So what, what I want to see happen, I want to see um, solid copper on the surface of this penny. I want to oxidize it like this. So I want to pull electrons from the solid copper to make copper two ions. Of course, those two electrons are going to need to go somewhere. And where I'm going to send them is into some water. And the water will get reduced by those two electrons to hydrogen gas and hydroxide ion. And then what's interesting is the copper ions that are formed on the surface of the penny, they all react with components in the atmosphere. And we should be able to see um, you know, some copper two compounds, which are blue, green in color, develop on the surface of the penny. OK, so I'm going to need to couple, so I'm going to couple this uh, half reaction with this one here. Now notice, this is an oxidation. This is the corresponding reduction half reaction that I had to flip to get this. Do you see it? So I've got copper 2, which is on this side, and two electrons, which is on this side, going to solid copper, which is on the opposite side. So because I flipped this reaction, I better flip the sign. Negative 0.34 volts. I'm going to couple that to this reaction here. So that's going to be two water plus two electrons going to hydrogen gas and two hydroxide ions. And I'll leave that sign the same. We'll add those together. Two electrons cancel. And the overall reaction, we should be able to take some solid copper, react it with water, and we should be able to get some hydrogen gas and hydroxide ions. And what I'm really interested in is generating this copper two ion that can react with atmospheric components to make some blue-green colored stuff. The cell potential for this is going to be 7... 1.17 volts negative. So that's my standard cell potential. So I would not expect this reaction to be spontaneous. So I'm going to see, we'll take some aluminum foil here, and I'll take this paper towel that's been soaked in water and some ammonia. I better make that a little smaller. Some water and some ammonia, and it's also been soaked in some salt. And if I just allow this to sort of set on the surface, like that, pull it over, and nothing happens. And of course, that's expected. I mean, we just calculated that this process, this process overall of taking solid copper, reacting with water, you know, we're not getting any hydrogen gas, we're not getting any hydroxide ions, we're not getting any copper too because we've got a negative cell potential. So we're not going to expect to see any copper two formed. But we can get this to go if we use electrochemical energy from this 9-volt battery. Well, that's more than enough, right? 9 volts is much greater than 1.17 volts. So this should supply uh, enough electrochemical energy to get this to go. I'm going to stick the microphone down there, see if you can all hear it. Okay, let me stick the microphone down there so you can hear the generation of the hydrogen gas. Hope you could hear that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. We definitely generated some, some copper two ions. Sort of that blue colored stuff that we see. That green blue colored stuff definitely generated a patina. I'm going to try it with... Uh, with this here. Let's see. All right. Sure enough. Do it a couple times. And so this is going to be an electrolytic cell where I'm driving this non-spontaneous process um, using electrochemical energy.